Hey Aries, thank you for tuning in, clicking on that thumbnail, checking out this reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your Jupiter in your North Node. Check what signs in your 7th house. Keep in mind, it won't resonate with every single Aries, okay? And that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, Aries, um, check out one of your other placements, okay? You can put you a good story together by checking out your other placements. There might be something in there that resonates with you um my email is open for any type of questions you may have about spirituality um any advice that you may want talked about on the channel um if you want to be anonymous that's perfectly fine you can also email me if you are looking to do a personal reading okay also hit that like and subscribe you guys um yeah so we got trust we got, it is safe for you to love, Aries. We have children. What's going on with the kiddos? And we have attraction. Okay. Let's see what we have here, Aries. Whew. So, so far, I'm feeling like um, some of you may have gone through something, um, in your past and you are moving forward from the past we're going to see though we're going to clarify spirit clarify trust for aries and love the six wow <laughs> and that's what i said okay so we have the six of swords you guys that popped out right yeah so as i said you guys you moved away from something all right that was no longer serving you all right and I feel like you guys, um, some of you guys are having faith. Some of you guys moved from a situation based on faith. And so this is a love reading, so I'm going to base it on love, but it doesn't even necessarily have to be love, Aries. If you click the video, you know you were, you were meant to see that. It could be anything that you moved away from um, that was no longer serving you. Um, but that's how, ooh, y'all, I can't, I can't make this up. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups. Yeah. This can also be children, you guys. So some of you guys could have moved away from someone that you have kids with um, to find something better, to find something that suits you a little bit more. Okay? It's very clarified. It is safe for you to love for Aries. Definitely someone from your past. So basically what I said before I started uh, pulling cards um is is what this reading is going to be centered around okay so we have the eight of wands okay so for this coming out uh um, it's safe for you to love i feel like you guys are um in for a really good um love offer a love message um from someone okay it could be someone from your past since we saw the six of cups earlier um yeah, this can also be you guys have made a whole lot of progress since you left another situation, okay? Um, however that may be, because the oracle says, open your heart and get to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of work on your heart chakra and you're seeing results, okay? You're having a lot of progress in that area, okay? Take it how it resonates, Aries. Spirit clarified children. Or Aries in love. <laughs> yeah. So we got the page of wands here. Okay. Some of you guys might be dealing with a younger fire sign or you have a fire sign child um, with someone that you left. Okay. I'm going to clarify that because this is kind of vague. You have children and you have the page of wands because the pages can be kids, can literally be a child. Um, yeah. Maybe you guys... Um, like I said, some of you guys may have a fire sign child um, with uh, with someone that you left. Um, take it how it resonates, uh, Aries. Spirit, clarify attraction. Ooh, yeah, I'm not taking all these, but there's a lot of energy going on here. Spirit, clarify. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, I knew it. <laughs> we got the seven of cups here. Listen, Aries, some of you guys might have options. Some of you guys might have options or a lot of people, I feel like a lot of you are, um, 
a lot of you are attracting a lot of suitors. Now, Aries, some of you guys might not be getting back into the dating game. Um, looking at this children and page of wands again, some of you guys might not be getting back in the dating game because of your child. Okay, take it how it resonates. Okay, but I feel like you have a lot of options. You have a lot of suitors that are interested in you, um, that are watching you. Okay, a lot of people that find you attractive right now. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is the second time I've seen the Queen of Swords, you guys, or the second or third time I've seen this. So a lot of you guys may just be on y'all single vibe right now. Worrying about your kids, if you have kids. Um, if you don't have kids, you know, you may have a younger sibling that is needing your assistance of, of some sort. Um, particularly a male, it doesn't have to be. Spirit, clarify trust in the Six of Swords. Mm. So we got the Ten of Pentacles, you guys. Yeah, some of you guys moved away from a family. Some of y'all moved away from a family, okay, um, and you did it on faith. Some of you guys may not have, uh, you may not have had a job. You may have uh, uh, depended solely on the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you guys may have depended solely on your mate. Um, your mate was the was the one that worked and you were like a stay-at-home mom. Or you worked part-time and you went to school or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, take it out of resonance, Aries. It doesn't have to be. All right, but I feel like uh, whatever you did, you had to step out on faith to uh, to do it. Whatever the situation was with, with the family dynamic that you left. It could also be that you left a family dynamic that is that wasn't necessarily romantic, okay? It could have been a family dynamic. Because again, with this children here, I feel like this could also be like a sibling, a cousin. It could be anything along the lines of that, Um you probably left a family dynamic, like say it was your parents, you have a controlling father or a controlling mother, and you moved away from there, even though they were um, fully fi uh, financially responsible for you or funding you. Um, take it out of resonance, Aries. Spirit, clarify it is safe for you to love in the Eight of Wands. Clarify it is safe for you to love in the Eight of Wands. <laughs> Ooh, Aries. So, y'all have, y'all definitely have some good energy coming in here. Listen, y'all got the Four of Wands that came out and the lovers on the bottom of the deck. When I tell you, you guys have, yeah. You guys have someone that, or you have an energy that is um, going to come into your life or may have already come into your life. Could be another fire sign, could be a Gemini. Um, that is really going to um, show you that you can love again. And I feel like you will be, um, well, some of you may not be open to it at first, depending on, you know, what you went through, what you went through in the past. But I feel like a lot of you guys will be open to um, this new person um, or these new people, because the lovers can also be a choice and you have the seven of cups here. <laughs> so uh, some of you guys might be uh, might be getting back into the dating world after not being in the, in the dating world for uh, for a while. Spirit, clarify children in the page of wands. Clarify children in the page of wands. Mm, yeah, the two of wands, you guys. You guys have a lot of fire energy here. So um, the two of wands, again, is making some type of choice. Waiting and to kind of wait things out. This is also you guys. This is Aries here. Um, so I feel like here, um, some of you guys might be... Uh, wanting to leave a situation with with a um with a baby's dad or a baby's mom or a husband or a wife or whatever we got the seven of wands here yeah but this person isn't going to be um the most susceptible to it you you might also have somebody around you that is using the children as as a means for you to deal with them again okay well you can't you can't leave because of the kids you need to stay here um well, we have, we have kids together, so, you know, 
don't break up the family you know don't don't break up the family uh you know um yeah it's tricky aries spirit clarify attraction seven of cups and this could go either way it doesn't even have to be another partner guys it could be a, a parent um you know anything along the lines of that any family member whoa you, you guys have a lot of page energy a lot of pages page of pentacles okay so some of you guys whoever this new person is might be um a younger earth sign this could also be the page of pentacles is also manifestation okay so some of you guys might be manifesting um a way out you could be manifesting um a way to financially support yourself so you can leave a situation you may be manifesting um new love you know if you've already got yourself settled and everything like that so um we have death on the bottom of the deck so yeah definitely you guys are going through a major transformation and i feel like it's the way that you love it is um it could also be you guys um healing some childhood traumas as well um that's that's another thing i could pick up from this children some of you guys might be dealing with childhood wounds childhood traumas or um you know some of you guys need to address those okay take it how it resonates aries I'm getting a lot of that this week. I'm getting a lot of um people needing um uh, people needing to address you know the inner child in them so they can attract better relationships with people. Uh Aries, um I feel like for a lot of you you probably grew up in in a situation that wasn't the most nurturing for you. Um because you have okay well you have one cup you have the seven of cups here you don't have a single cup other than the seven of cups here on the board so i feel like a lot of you guys may not have been you didn't grow up with any type of emotional support you probably didn't grow up with any type of protection either um so now in your adult life you, you're really examining okay There's two of wands here. You're really examining, okay, why do I keep attracting the same types of people? Okay, why do I keep ending up in relationships with people that are verbally abusive, physically abusive, um, financially abusive? Um, you know, and then a lot of you are finding that, you know, your your parents treated you that way. They they treated you um the way that your partners are treating you and so you guys are moving away from whatever thought processes whatever traumas um anything like that that is keeping you from moving forward so you could actually have what you desire what else does aries need to know regarding this love situation Y'all, the Eight of Pentacles came out again. <sighs> Y'all, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo um, or an Earth sign. But I feel like you guys are really, really working on yourselves. Really, really, really working on yourselves. Some of you guys might be like literally physically working. And you weren't before. You may have been, like I said, you were in a marriage where the other partner, you know, provided most of the finances. And so now you're getting back into the work world. That could literally mean that as well. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. I saw the Nine of Swords, but it didn't flip all the way over. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. I usually don't take y'all. Why the Page of Wands came out again? Y'all, listen, I feel like a lot of you guys are healing your inner child. And you're going to be successful. The emperor on the bottom of the deck, you guys, yeah, you're going to step into this energy. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. If you feel like you're not in the emperor yet, you will be. But I feel like a lot of you guys are healing your inner child. Take whatever storyline, you know, resonates with you, Aries. But overall, I love it, okay? So, Aries, that's y'all's reading. Hope it resonated with you. If it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe. Uh, 
And until next time, y'all, peace out.